Hello and my name is Ahmed Navid and today we are talking about plants. A nice lovely picture of some plants, well flowers basically. Part of the plant. The main part of a plant include roots, stem, leaves, flowers and fruit. Then how many things? Five things. Can you show me five fingers? Yes, five fingers. Good. Parts of a plant. Can you say that? Parts of a plant. Good. Please. So, there's a flower, a leaf, roots, stem, and can you name the last one? Petal. Part of a plant and its functions. So, oh, that was pretty quick. Flower. Helps in reproduction. Leaf. Performs photosynthesis. Fruit. Protects the seeds. Su stem. Supports the plant. Root. Absorbs water and minerals. So, can you see this line, like that, <coughs> that is the shoot system, what is it, I can't hear you, yes, the shoot system, and then, un and then under the ground, from the soil, or the mud to the roots it's going to be the root system or you could do root system because it's holding it up root system and then shoot system could be like really straight so vocabulary reproduction Production of new plants. Photosynthesis. How plants make their food from sunlight. Support. Holding up the weight. Absorb. Take in or soak up. Minerals. The things that help, help plants grow and stay healthy. The basic needs for plant for plant growth. Plants need air, sun, soil, water and space to be healthy. So they need how many things? One, two, three, four, five. They need five things. You could put nutrients in there. And um, you could put food in there. You could even put what type of food. So sun, air, water, space and soil. A plant's, a plant's life cycle. Come on, my magic word. <sighs> Good. So, plant life cycle. Pollination. Fruit. So, the first step is fruit with seeds. There is a strawberry. Um, 
It can be apples, tomatoes, uh, oranges, um, could be a cucumber, seed. Next step is seed germination. You might be wondering what seed germination is. Hmm, germination. Well, we'll explain in the next slide. Next is a seedling. So it just shoots out just a bit. About the size of this finger. Yeah, about that. So, and then it turns into when adult plant so it go, grows bigger and then it gets pollinated by bees or wasps and then you get the fruit and then it keeps on happening the plant's life cycle seed the plant life cycle starts with a simple seed seeds move from the plant and being spread across the ground some are spread when a strong strong wind lifts them from the plant and blows them around others that are picked up by birds bees and bugs and some are gathered up by humans oh, I'm a human and I'm picking up seeds <clears throat> and planted in their gardens there are the seeds plant life cycle germination the next stage in the life cycle is to germinate germination is when the roots of the seeds begin to grow inside the shell sprout you can see a picture if anybody, of a sprout when the seeds get enough oxygen, water, sunlight, and the right temp temperature, the tiny seed begins to sprout. You can see this one is just sprouting. It's been pulled out, so you can see the root there too. There's a root, there's a root, there's a root. I think this one's still in the ground. And this one's still in the ground, so they've only pulled it out a bit in this one. So it's leaning over onto the side because the stem is not as strong. Plant life cycle seedling. Eventually, the sprouted seed will begin to grow into a small, delicate young plant which will pop up pop its head out of the soil we call this a seedling oh look at that little seedling this is a seedling adult plant <clears throat> over time photosynthesis what's the meaning yes supports the seedling to continue growing into a mature plant adult plant actually that's an adult plant this over here seed the next cy cycle will start with a simple seed there's pollination happening Useful links.
You can watch some more videos. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven links, so there's plenty for you to watch. But these two at the end of the most funny that I found. See ya. Bye.